Okay, so this short video uh, is going to be one of the IT1 topics. We're going to be talking today about online shopping, okay, and searching for products on websites. I'll do this as quickly as I possibly can and get you all the information you need to be able to answer the questions. So, definitions online shopping is shopping over the internet as opposed to using traditional methods such as going to the shops. And e commerce is doing business online such as booking flights, cinema tickets. Uh, things like that. Okay, so online shopping, no, that's what it is. Okay, now we're used to seeing online shopping um, through websites such as uh, maybe play.com, Amazon, ASOS. Okay, and we can buy DVDs, books, clothes, loads and loads of different stuff you can buy online these uh, these days. Okay, um, if we just look at some of these, you know, I mean, if you look at this, you can see on here, if you can follow my mouse, we've got search facilities, we've got little shopping baskets, okay? And I'll just go into a little bit more detail. We're going to Amazon a little bit more, so we're one page there. And you can see I've searched for the Arctic Monkeys CD. Now, one of some of the features we've got here, we can, we've got how much it is, nine pounds or Neo CD, 6.99 if I want to download the MP3s. And I've also got a little description and I've got so I can preview the songs on here and I've got a review from a rate at nearly five stars so it's a good album and stuff like that so those are some of the features of these these websites you know, you've got things like reviews prices descriptions that sort of stuff okay over here's my shopping basket once I've collected stuff in my shopping basket my virtual shopping basket I then move on to a virtual checkout where I can pay for my goods and that, that and then they will deliver to my house Okay, so we're talking about payment. Let's have a quick move on to the next slide. We've got three ways really we can pay for stuff online. Okay, but just these are the ones we need to know about credit card, debit card, and the third one is online payment services. Okay, so I mean, in the past, people have written an exam, they've written PayPal. The exam board don't like us to write PayPal, they need us to say online payment services, which, which is what payment, PayPal is it's an online payment service. So you're going to say credit card, debit card. And online online payment services like PayPal. Okay, now as as is many of the many as is many of the questions that you'll do, we'll be looking at advantages and disadvantages of shopping online. Okay, and, and that's pretty much where we need to go for the next bit and to finish up. Okay, so we've got customers and we've got businesses. So we're going to look at advantages and disadvantages for the customer, and then advantages and disadvantages for a business. Okay, so. Let's have a look. So here's our advantages to customers. Um, right, no traveling costs to go shopping. So you haven't got to pay extortionate um, parking fees. You haven't got to get uh, get on the train. You haven't got to get petrol in the car. It's actually, you can do it from your own house and it's, it doesn't cost you anything to go shopping. Big deal for some people. Okay, you've got a wider selection of goods. If I go shopping in Cardiff, I'm pretty much limited to what is in Cardiff that I can buy. If I'm shopping online, as long as the goods, as long as the company will ship to the UK, I can buy from where anywhere in the world. Okay. Same with shops. Same again. Shops have opening hours. They usually open sort of nine or five or longer hours sometimes. But with shopping online, you can shop at any time. If you want to shop at three o'clock in the morning on Christmas Day and buy yourself some stuff online, you can. Okay. So twenty-four-seven opening, three hundred and sixty-five days a year. Uh, other advantages that goods can be delivered to your home, especially if, if you're disabled or housebound or um, don't have the time or to go out shopping because you're looking after people, then there's a real massive advantage that the, the, the goods will be delivered to, straight to your house rather than you going out to get them. And a lot of online, a lot of, cust a lot of businesses that do uh, online shopping only do only ship ship online. If you go back, we look at Amazon, we look at Play.com. Uh, okay, they they only work online. Because they're online companies that only that are online shops, they don't have any of the price, any of the cost implementations of in a store in the middle of Cardiff or at 10 stores around the country in city centres where they employ quite a lot of people. They've got to make it look really smart inside. They've got to clean it. And wherever you, you know, whenever you buy something from those from stores like that, a percentage of the price you pay is there to cover the cost of the, the rent in the store, paying the staff, that sort of thing. Online shops don't have this. They rent smaller warehouses out of town. They stack the goods up high. They have loads of them there. And this is obviously cheaper. So those cost savings that they get can be passed on to you in the in the form of paying less to get your DVDs and your CDs and your clothes and stuff like that. Okay. There are, however, disadvantages to customers. Okay. Um, main one, I suppose, for a lot of people, uh, you know, even 
these days now people are more afraid of online card fraud they might not want to use their card online for fear that someone might be able to somehow obtain their card details and then use their card to purchase goods okay another one you can't actually assess the quality of the goods you're buying so especially if you're buying clothes or something like that you might pick up you, you know we might be in a shop and you pick up a t-shirt you think oh it's a bit cheap looking i don't really like that you can't do that online the only time you find out is when it when it arrives and you try it on okay which leads us to our next one i mean if you do buy something and it's the wrong size that can happen you can't try the goods on beforehand or if the goods are faulty when you receive them then it's a real hassle you have to go to the post office pack them back up send them back to the company you may have to pay to send it back as well and you know it's going to take a couple of days to, or weeks or to sort that out uh hidden delivery costs it may be that you've got to pay a lot of places do free delivery but it could be quite expensive to get the goods delivered um some people actually like going shopping i can't imagine it myself but people like to go shopping with their mates uh out there ever off and they drag them around the shops and you go you have something to eat and you make a day of it so one of the disadvantages is you lose this sort of social pleasure of, of shopping okay and finally there are websites which look very official uh pictures are good so you see they've got them in stock they're brilliant and they take your money and then they never send the goods so there are fake websites that basically defraud you of your money by you pay for a good they never actually send it okay for cust for the businesses themselves i mean why if you're a business owner why would you look to be thinking about setting an online business at one well, brilliant the whole point that you can buy stuff 24 7 a day 365 days a year is actually an advantage for them it means that they can sell 24 7 365 days a year that means more people buy their products more people buy their products they make more money they have a global market again the very reason that we say as people who buy stuff is brilliant because we can buy stuff from all over the world these businesses are saying i can sell to anyone who's got a computer who wants to log onto my website i can I, that means my market's not the people who live in south wales my market's global it's brilliant okay and again they don't need expensive high street stores we've seen this we, we've already talked about it. and you think about amazon if anyone's been to swansea amazon have a massive warehouse outside swansea stack their goods up really high loads of them there doesn't cost them as much as if they're in the middle of town send it around send the goods from there around the country okay so they can, and that saves them a lot of money um, the other thing they get is when you buy something online you have to give your email address then they've, they've then got your email address whenever they've got a sale then if they've got new products uh, they could they just they send emails it's pretty much free to send an email to someone who sent who's bought from you again and they know you're interested in their products so they're sending you emails all the time that's the best sort of advertising these people know that you're interested they send that's why they send you emails all the time saying hey look you know we've got a sale on come and look at stuff absolutely superb for businesses okay disadvantages to businesses well they're not so you know there are disadvantages it's not all rosy it, the fact that like you can sell around the world means they're in competition with people around the world it can and with competition theoretically prices become lower as people try and get the share of the market lower prices means less profit for businesses you do need to have some pretty good IT people to set up your, your e-commerce site your website that sells the goods you need that to be maintained and kept up to date you need good IT people to set it up you'll need to be aware of viruses you can't afford to have your web your website taken down or your, your computer system taken down because it's got viruses on it if your website's not working you're not making any money okay and, and again people will try and hack your website if you're a big in, uh, online shopping company people will try what they call denial of service attacks to take your your website down they can even try perhaps to uh, uh, sort of uh, hold you to ransom if you like we're saying we'll take your website down if you don't pay us if your website's down you're not making money that costs your business a lot of money you do get as well problems with websites and networks they can fail servers can fail businesses put huge spend a huge amount of money on making sure they don't but they can okay and the one thing you, do, and the, you really do need to be aware of is if you're storing people's personal data including their bank details and account numbers and that sort of stuff you really do have to keep it uh, secure and the data protection law you have to keep all that those details secure and people will try to access them think of uh, things like PlayStation Network where a lot of people's personal data was, was stolen from Sony when it was hacked a couple of years ago okay so exam questions you're gonna ask, ask what is uh, what is shopping online 
Okay, you might get asked components, you might get asked about um, shopping baskets, checkouts, okay. You, but you almost de how, you might get asked how do you pay? Credit card, debit card, online payment services. You're going to get asked advantages, disadvantages to customers, advantages, disadvantages to business. Okay, goodbye.